Selena receives a 5% commission plus $400 per week for her salary. If she has $5,000 in sales, how much would she earn this week? So we're basically looking at one week, and again, she gets 5% commission plus $400 per week in her salary. She's going to do $5,000 in sales. We want to know how much money does she have in her paycheck, all right? So taking a look at that, let's take a look at this one. It's a great problem. It's a very practical one. Many, many places where people work, you get paid a base salary for coming in, but you got to produce. You've got to produce and you get 5%. The commission is 5% of whatever you sell. You will be paid by your corporation or your company, all right? It could be 10%. It could be even up to 40% some places are, but you get the idea. If you're getting 40%, you better be making it all because they're not going to pay you a base, right? But that's the idea of commission. In other words, you get paid a percent of what you sell or what you bring in, what income you bring into the company. So let's take a look at how we're going to write this problem. First of all, 5% is a rate. It's a rate of change, all right? So we're going to look at it. This is basically looks like a slope intercept form, all right? It's got a percent in there, but we are going to use a slope intercept approach. So I'm going to go with that good old y equals mx plus b. Look right there it is. And remember, B is the y-intercept basically at ground zero. If you don't sell anything, you make $400. That's going to be the B value here, all right? The 5,000, that's going to be our X. And we're going to have to play with that X in order to see what Y is because X is our independent variable. Y is depending on X. That's why we call it a dependent variable there. So what we got to do is put that 5% somewhere. Why not go in for the slope? That's our rate of change. It's our rate of change. So here's the equation we start with. Y equals, and by the way, 5% has got to be going to a decimal. Got to make it a decimal. So move that decimal two places to the left, and you're going to have five hundredths. Make sure there's a zero between the decimal and the five, all right? We've got X, and we've got our 400. So there's the first thing. Now, you say, Ernie, what's that going to do to get us to the final answer to this question? Well, we've got to say we've got $5,000 in sales. That's your X value. So what we're going to do, we're going to substitute 5,000 in for X. We're just going to run the formula. Now, we're going to go back to my dear Aunt Sally, which means we multiply, then we'll add the 400, all right? Boy, I wish we could take 5% of that and add it onto your salary, but you know what? That's just all, you're already getting it, so you don't get 5% of that either. So you go ahead and let's look how this is going to work. It's going to be 500 times 5,000 and then we're going to add 400, all right? Now, this one's pretty straightforward. Drop my lower, um, how about a 400? Yeah, no, we'll finish that up. There we go. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna multiply these two together, all right? And then we're gonna add the 400 to it. So let's see what happens when we drop down here one more notch. We're gonna pick up 500 times five. Now, if I multiply five times five, I get 25, and I've got these three zeros. But I have to move back in here a little bit, all right? So I've got to move my decimal in two places. So what that's going to give us is, folks, 250. Because we started out with two more zeros, but we're going to cut in because counting off the decimal place there, we multiply. Now, where are we going from there? We've got something to add to it. We want to add that 400 after we get the 250. And you know what our Y value is? And what we're looking for is going to be 650, that is dollars. So that would be how much she earns. From there, she's probably going to lose some taxes and some other good things. But that, folks, is how you establish a commission salary, all right? Take the commission and add it to the base pay, if there is a base pay, and there you have it. That's what you take home that, for that week, all right? For more math help, visit tnlearn.org.